You really just cannot take Labour's word on anything, can you? Because now we are hearing that the RAF base that Keir Starmer vowed to scrap is now actually being expanded in capacity to house more migrants. The Home Office has confirmed that its work is continuing at the Weathersfield RAF base site to increase its current capacity for 540 asylum seekers up to 800 asylum seekers. Now, here is Keir Starmer. Before the election, surprise, surprise, in an interview with ITV News, where he said that he, well, he said that the site, quote, needs to close. Now, I'm sure he'll say that he wasn't lying because he didn't put an exact timestamp. He didn't say exactly when he was going to do it. But don't you think it's just a little bit hypocritical or at least makes you look like a stupid, untrustworthy politician and kid? you know, especially given all the rest of the lies we've seen out of them. If you say that it needs to close and then you go ahead and try and increase the capacity of the site, hmm? Well, I'll tell you what. Keir Starmer and Yvette Cooper, they thought they could fool us by telling us we're going to smash the gangs, we're going to end the use of hotels for asylum seekers, no one's going to come across the channel when we're in charge. Yeah, how's that going for you, darling? Hmm? Because I heard that small boat crossings are up, what, 12% this year? They've been absolutely skyrocketing since you came into power and they are not even lifting a finger to try and stop those boats. So surprise, surprise, there are more people coming in and they've got to figure out where to house them. So guess what? They are realising, oh, maybe we need those RAF sites. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting because... The sites were even uh, opposed by a lot of Tories uh, as well, the use of these sites. Um, so, I mean, you had uh, James Cleverly, uh, Pretty Patel even opposing these sites. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know why they actually bother because you've just seen there the figures. They're trying to increase the number of migrants that this place can house from 540 to 800. Well, We've had, what, 30,000 migrants come across the channel this year? I, th I think it's 30,000. I mean, 800, that's like a drop in the ocean compared to 30,000. I believe that we currently have about 50,000 of them in hotels. You think putting 800 on this base is going to really reduce the numbers in the hotels that much? I mean, it just... You know, it's just absolutely pathetic. It's just absolutely hopeless. Um, so take a look at this. So there were actually two other major sites identified by the Tories. The Bibby Stock Home Barge, you know, very controversial, the floating prison, um, and the other RAF base in Scampton. Now, both of those have been abandoned. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was just a bloody shit show trying to get these places open. You had issues with the Wi-Fi and getting the NHS system, like they need, I guess, because they have like, you know, a medical tent or whatever there. You've got medical people there um, dealing with the migrants there. And if they can't get on their system, that's a huge problem. They had a problem with that. I think there were, you know, various like health and safety concerns. They could just never get the thing off the ground after spending you know, a stupid amount of money off it. So those were abandoned. But we do have this RAF Weathersfield site and they're supposedly increasing the capacity of it. I don't know why you would give yourself the bad PR, right? You know, this is not a good look to say you're going to close the place and then actually exp expand the capacity of the place just so that you can fit another 260 people in there. Just don't bother, okay? Keir Starmer, I know you're not very good at the PR stuff. Here's a word of advice. Just don't bother, mate. It's not a good look just to put 240 people somewhere. Um, and, you know, the hotels crisis just goes on and on and on. Um, so... The government has had to open up at least two more hotels and change the use of another in order to accommodate single male migrants, despite their pledge to end the use of hotels for asylum seekers. So, I mean, they're just failing on all fronts. They're failing to smash the gangs. They're failing to bring the numbers down. They're failing to reduce the number of hotels or, you know, end the use of hotels is, is their pledge, not just reduce the number of hotels. The number of hotels is, in fact, going up. I mean, they are just genuinely hopeless right we've had this horrendous budget 
uh, come this week, which shows that Labour, they're hopeless with the economy, but they're hopeless at everything else as well. They're clearly hopeless uh, when it comes to free speech. They're clearly hopeless when it comes to immigration. They're clearly uh, hopeless uh, when it comes to, you know, not taking... Uh, ridiculous bribes and donations and not declaring them properly you know all of the lord ali stuff i mean it's just like there are little kids running the place that just have absolutely no competency uh, whatsoever i mean what have labor got in store for us next if this is just only the start you know i think that the public are going to be very 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 angry if we have another five years of the number of boats coming in going up and up and up and up that's not even to mention legal migration numbers yet what are they going to do with those are those numbers actually going to come down because if that you know i'll believe it when i see it um if, but those numbers have to come down because this country is about to pop you know labor they're here talking about you know building a few new homes and whatnot and yeah okay great we need, we need more homes but no one's going to notice it if you are have got people flooding into this country in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands every single year just taking up all those houses straight away that you build labor you've got to sort this one out immigration it is the most important thing for them to sort out and they are doing nothing they do not care kia starmer he does not care he said that he would smash the gangs just because it was good a good election slogan as soon as he got into office did not give a damn i'm angry i'm sure you're angry tell me in the comments below uh, this is a betrayal of the british people insisting that you're going to stop the boats and that not bothering to lift a finger now i knew that kia starmer was underestimating how difficult of a task it would be to stop this horrible illegal trade it is complicated and he oversimplified it saying i'll just smash the gangs but i don't like at least like to see a little bit of effort and i'm not seeing an ounce of it i'm done i'm done with this labor government i've had enough of it after this week the budget everything i'm just i'm drained i feel drained people i am fed up and just to think we've got to stick with these guys for five more years i don't know how i'm gonna cope i really don't it's getting depressing Anyway, I'm Chloe Dobbs. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of our videos. See you in the next one.